Hello guys, quite recently on this channel I had a code snippet from laraveldaily.com about our search and aliases and some of you asked me in the comments to dig deeper and find more examples from our own code base. So this week on this channel I will pick quite a few things from laraveldaily.com source and show it to you as kind of like quick tips. So topic of today is a fallback route and the story is this. While migrating from an older WordPress-based blog in laraveldaily.com in 2022, so a year ago, we migrated the post into a Laravel database, but just in case, if we had forgotten some post or misphrased the URL or something like that, we added this at the very bottom of the routes web file. So maybe you would encounter such situation when migrating the project or changing the structure of the project or something like that. This code snippet means, in any case of any other URLs that are not mentioned above, we take that URL, any, and then try to parse that with a custom logic. So in our case it was, let's try to find the post with that slug of the URL. And by the way, did you know about that where slug thing? And this is a great thing about analyzing code source from ourselves or GitHub. While researching one topic, you suddenly encounter smaller things that you didn't know. So I'm pretty sure some of you wouldn't know that you can add where slug instead of doing something like this. So that would be a longer syntax and where slug with uppercase and camel case is a shorter syntax. I'm not a big fan of that, but some of you may prefer it's a bit shorter. Then if we don't find the post, then we return 404 like a typical not found. And here are two mini side tips just from this line. So instead of doing if else, if not exist, then abort, there's a helper abort if with condition and status code to be used. And another quick tip, instead of using 404, you can use symphony constants like HTTP not found. And this is another example for 302 from what I remember. So some developers prefer status code in numbers because they remember all the numbers, but some developers prefer more readable human format. So these are tips along the way. And if we do find the post, so this didn't return 404, that post exists, then we redirect to the URL with 302, status code for SEO purposes. So yeah, a quick kind of three in one or four in one tip, if you have any fallback routes for anything else that is not covered by the main routes. What do you think about this solution? Maybe you would have done something differently? Share in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.